But the word became physical. It became flesh. Jesus, white or black? Jesus, white or black? Color has got nothing to do with Islam. There you are. Two Muslims. God spoke to Noah directly as well. When Moses comes, God speaks to Moses, but Moses now gives the law. Moses was the first where we began to hear the laws of God. Okay, what about, what about the people that follow these prophets? What do you mean? Who did they talk God direct to? Who did they pray to? Who, Who did they, they ask forgiveness to? God. And they but the scripture says, in these times... That law doesn't change. No, it, how do you know? How do you know? You go direct to God. You don't need a middleman. You see? You know? So what is a middleman for? Let me ask you a question. Why do we say middleman? If there is no need. Because there is a need for a middleman. We call him a mediator. Jesus Christ is the mediator. He's the middleman. Did Jesus need a mediator? How can he need a mediator? He spoke directly to God. He was sent from God. He communicated directly with God. He spoke directly to God. Yes. So he's not God. And God spoke through him as a man. You see, you, you see, you see, this is an issue that, no, exactly. To your mind is confusing because in your mind, in your mind is confusing. But you need to understand that you're a spirit. You have a soul, you live in a body. There are dimensions on which you communicate with God. I'm just going by what you just said. You said yeah, but I'm saying Jesus. to you, so you said to me, clarify. No, 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 you should no, no, no. You need to say, clarify what you said. You said Jesus spoke direct to... As a man, he spoke to God. What was, what was it then? As a man, he spoke he to it God. Before, what was it before then? What do you mean? What was Jesus before? He, he is God and he was God. You said as, that's implying something else. He you see, before. you don't understand the roles Jesus played. So Jesus played the role as man, son of God. Did Jesus ever pray? What do you mean? Did he ever pray and talk pray. to God? And of course, God men, don't, do don't, men, don't human beings pray. So, he's a human so when God became a human being, he prayed. Oh. See, so in your mind, you're confused. So himself. Islam, you are confused. You see, you're laughing, you're confused. God prayed to himself. You see, you need a revelation. Okay. You need a revelation. Jesus. That when God became a man, the son of God prayed to the father. I can God, God become a man. Wait, God, God became, became a man, man in the person of Jesus Christ. Just, bro, God became a man in the person of Jesus Christ. In the, okay, then what was he? What was Jesus before he became a man? The Word. Jesus. The Word. Jesus that word physical. Black. Wait, 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 wait. I like what you said. That, that the Word was spiritual, not physical. But the Word became physical. It became flesh. Jesus, white or black? Jesus, white or black? Allah, color has got nothing to do with Islam. No, no, there you are, exactly. two Muslims. Exactly. No, it's the message. Yeah, exactly. it's a message. Well, let's talk, let's talk. I'm listening to you. To the no, listen, why don't you just stay out? Talk to Jesus me. White or black. No, 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 of course, Christians, you go to any I'm listening church. to you. I'm listening to you, brother. Brother, I'm listening to you. We mention mediator. Jesus Christ is a mediator. We mention man. God became a man in the person of Jesus Christ. The word became flesh. Okay, so what does Jesus mean? When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, yes, yeah, what yes. did he do? He knows the Bible, doesn't he? But the man prayed to the Father. The man prayed to the Father, not himself. How can he pray to himself? Because you're saying he's God. You see, you don't understand that God is Father, <laughs> Son, and Holy Spirit. If you don't make that distinction, you become confused. That is the problem with Islam. In Islam, you don't have that distinction of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do you know that? I'm asking you. Do you know that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Answer me. Okay, I will. Okay. Yeah, but my first question was, yes. when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, Yes. Yeah. his disciples are behind him. Yes. He goes in the garden. Yes. This is when they're trying to capture him. Yes. He kneels to the floor. Puts yes. Prostrate. Yes. And says, God, if you come. He says, Father. He didn't say God. He said, Father. Uh, 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 uh. You see, they, no, 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 no. He said, Father. He said, wait, see, wait, you wait. are lying. Okay, okay. That is but, the issue of Islam. You take praying? the scriptures and you lie okay. through the scriptures. He but he says, Father. Okay. Okay. Father. So that makes a distinction between Jesus and the Father. Okay. For argument's sake. He didn't say God. He said, okay. Father. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. A higher being than him, basically. So he's praying to him. Someone higher than him. Because you only pray to a higher being. Something you rely on. True? That's true. True? That's true. So who was he praying to? To the Father. Who's the all powerful? The Father. If Jesus was God. Do God pray to themselves? You see, I said to you, you are forgetting a distinction. Make a distinction. We know that there is a Father 
the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, well, but you don't get that. Okay, you see, in Islam, you don't get that. It's all muddled up. Okay. In Islam, it's all jumbled up, you know. That is why you can't understand that there is a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When Jesus was on the cross, yes. according to Christian, yes. what did he say? There are a number of things he said. Which one do you mean? What did he say? Well, it's the Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. the word Father. He didn't use the word father. What did he use? Elahi. Elahi. Oh, what well, he said, my God, my God. No, no, Who was his father? No, Who was his he father? father? He almost, he always called him God. That was one time, he always called him father. That's one time he called him God. No, no, no. He, he says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? No, no, Do you know what it means? No, no. Do you know what it means? In your Bible it says, Elahi, Elahi. My God, my God. Because Jesus didn't speak English. Yeah, Jesus but I'm saying, yeah, but it doesn't matter. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does, what does Elahi, Elahi mean? Elahi, Elahi, what does it mean? He's running. What does it mean? My God, my God. If he's God, why My God, my God. Why have you forsaken me, the man Jesus? Yes. Who's he talking to? The Father. Who's a higher being, all powerful. Why do you say higher being? He's asking for help. You see, you need understanding. And in Islam, you don't have that understanding. You're confused. He's talking to you're himself. Confused. For real. Admit it, you're confused. Father to his creation. That call. Admit it, you're confused. It may not make sense to you. It may not make sense to you, but it's the truth. The truth may not make sense to you, but it's still the truth. That's an echo, isn't it? It's an echo. It's an echo. It's like an echo. Let's be patient with it. Let's be loving. No, I'm not making. I'm not making natural sense to you. But we're speaking about spiritual matters here. And in spiritual matters, there is a father, there is a son, and there's a Holy Spirit. And there's a mother. Which mother? Did Jesus have a mother? Of course he had a mother. What about it? Was he was Mary pregnant with Jesus? Of course she was. You know that yourself. Why are you asking? Okay then. And that baby yes. that was inside yes. his mother's womb. Yes. Is that God Almighty? Of course. <laughs> you see, there you are. Because God is a spirit. No, no, no. God isn't a, a, a blob of flesh. God is a spirit. When you when you was ten months old, did you need your nappies changing? Of course I did. Why? Because I was a baby. Exactly. Was Jesus a baby? Of course he was. Did he need help? Listen, did his Jesus was born as a baby. He got tired as a human being. He got tired as a human being. Do human beings get tired? You see, in Islam, your confusion is that you don't see that God became a man. Now, how do we know God became a man? He ate. He slept. He got tired. He lived a natural life like anybody else, like he does. Still in the womb as well. Come again. You don't speak English. Where do you come from? Nice to meet you. So the issue is that when God became a man, he was still a human being. He did everything human beings do except sin. He didn't sin. Yes, he did. Of course, babies have to eat breast. So he had his mother's breast. What about it? See, Islam is so perverted and twisted. In Islam's mind, it's like, well, how can God be breastfed? No, a human being needs to be breastfed. Every baby is breastfed. And so when God became a man, to know he was a man, he did everything human beings do. But you can't accept it. Islam is so confused. You know, it's sad. It's confused. Okay, if you saw that baby today. Yes. Yeah. If he was coming out of Mary. Yes. Mary was giving birth. Yes. See, perversion. Their mind is twisted. No, no, come on, come on, come on, bring it, bring it. What do you mean? Jesus was a baby. He wasn't, listen, let me say this to you. Jesus' disciples did not even know that he was God. Did his mother? Who's a baby God? Did his mother? Of course, his mother knew. His mother was the one who carried her. Who knows better? She did. His mother knew. The mother knew she, he was God. The mother knew. The mother knew he was God. The mother knew because the mother was told the child will have to be called the son of God. Okay, then did Mary ever pray to that baby? Of course, when the when 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 Jesus when Jesus when Jesus died. And after his death, you, you need you need to distinguish before he died and after he died. Do, how can God die? Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to you? Can God die? Jesus the man died. Jesus the man died. See, in Islam, there's a confusion. Islam is actually, Islam does not make a decision between spiritual and natural. We as believers who know the scriptures, we know that there is a natural life and there is a spiritual life. And the natural life has its laws, and the spiritual life has its laws as well. Now, Islam, that distinction is not there. There is a confusion in Islam. And so a Muslim will go, well, how can 
God suck his mother's breast. No, Jesus, a baby, needed to be nurtured like anybody else. He grew. He learned. Does that stop him from being the son of God? No. He is still and was the son of God. And so, please, there you are. Islam thinks God has to have a wife. But God is also, he just spoke through Angel Gabriel to Mary. Mary had a baby. Islam is confused. You know, my heart breaks for Muslims. My heart breaks for them because there is no understanding. You need to understand that there is a spiritual world and there is a natural world. The natural world has its laws, the spiritual world has its laws. And as human beings, we are trying to marry the two together. We call it revelation. That means God makes you understand the spiritual world naturally. And you begin to live your natural life spiritually. In Islam, there's nothing like that. You know, everything is kind of confused. And so Muslims will ask you, uh, Mary had a baby. The baby sucked their breast. Was that God sucking the breast of Mary? No. Baby Jesus was a baby. Every day he needs his mother. So as a baby, his mother nurtured him. But watch this. If you read the scriptures in the Gospel of John, you will discover that Jesus turned water into wine. Do you know how it happened? They were at a wedding and they had no wine. And Mary told the servants, go to Jesus. Whatever he tells you, do it. Now, if Mary had the power, why wouldn't Mary change water into wine? It was Jesus, the Son of God, who had power that changed water into wine. So if you're a Muslim, you need to open your heart and understand that there is a spiritual world and there is a natural world. And that naturally Jesus was a man. But spiritually, he was God, the Son of God. And if you don't make that decision, you become confused. Because you'll be wondering, well, when Jesus prayed, who did he pray to? Well, Jesus, the Son of God, prayed to the Father. Because as a human being, human beings pray. So Jesus prayed to the Father. And please, it takes revelation. The scriptures are there. But without revelation, there'll be no understanding. And the Holy Spirit, who is also God, is there to open up and explain the scriptures to you so you can have a better understanding. And so, Muslims, God bless you. And if you're a Christian, keep on believing, never stop believing, and never doubt. Jesus Christ is the Son of a living God, and is God too. But we know that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Revelation brings understanding. God bless you.